Hello, it's David here again, uh, out here on a beautiful morning and uh, we're gonna get in another flight. Thanks for all the response on the build of the slow stick with the carbon fiber aero shafts. Um, the response has been great and I appreciate it. It's, this is a platform that is, I'm sure, fond memories for many people, but this is taking it slightly to a new level with the FPV and the ability to carry the extra load on the frame. Today, I'm going to uh, maybe go into a little bit more details than the other video since there was a, quite a few questions on, on some of the, the build items. Some of the questions were around the build of the wing and the foam parts. This is a five millimeter foam board. Uh, it is a stiffer foam board than, than most of the ready-made and other things that you'll find. It's got more of a, a card uh, stock on it. I have now shared the PDF files um, that are for this wing as well as the tail pieces on the listing for the download with the STL files. And they're in PDF and DXF format. If you have your own cutter, you could uh, format them and cut them. When you build the wing, um, there's you, you're gonna fold over a section and also there's you're gonna score the lines down the, the length of the body. And this is gonna add a lot of rigidity to the, the wing. And to help keep its form or a bead of hot glue, uh, down these uh, creases and that'll give it the shape and help it retain it. It's super stiff, uh, the wing. The other thing is, is these wing joiners that are used, you'll notice that I, I did a lot of dihedral and this is from my experience flying the slow stick. Um, if you build a slow stick with a flat wing, it will not turn if all you are using is rudder and tail and elevator. It just has a real struggle, but when you give it more dihedral, it's going to settle in. And it's, it's like very stable, but also it'll turn very well with rudder input. Formers are built uh, with that dihedral that I like in it. It's, it's what I recommend. Uh, I, I believe they could be modified, but you'd have to modify a lot of the parts if you don't want that much dihedral. Uh, just to share a little bit of experience with slow sticks, I've built them with ailerons. I've built all these different ones. The ailerons are very slow uh, reaction in the roll, and I found that you ha I have a better, way better control and very stable flight with just using uh, rudder and elevator. Very happy with that. It feels a lot like uh, an ultralight. The way it looks and feels, and, and especially if you have the pan servo on the platform. I've also modified the uh, and added a couple of different motor mounts with a little bit of more bracing in, in there. I've given it a little bit of three degrees down and two degrees right in the motor mount to help uh, counter the torque rotation of the motor. There is also the, the standard mount if you still want to use that. It's straight 90 degrees to the shafts. Make sure you're using the correct rot counter clockwise rotation uh, for if you're going to use the offset one because that's what it's set for or you'll need to reverse it in the STL file. Here's the landing gear, carbon fiber mounted with bolts. Um, I get this, the link is uh, from, is listed. 30 amp ESC, I like the 30 amp ESC with uh, a 3 amp BEC. Now this is the, the camera mount. I use a, typically I'll use a uh, 180 degree servo digital if if I can because they're a lot smoother but this allows me to do uh, uh, a pan out underneath the wing when I'm flying also this is the Q light OSD it runs GPS and powers the Vista unit this is a button to go into the Wi-Fi mode so I can download the log files this is the standard Vista or run cam link which is still available I'm using the TBS Crossfire 900 megahertz, something I've been using for a long time. These are the digital servos. When setting up the tail wheel, this is a Dubro collet or a collet, same thing you'd use on a wheel collar. And it's inset, I replace the screw so I can set in and tighten it. This will latch onto the wire that passes through the tail wheel mount. Also, uh, you'll notice that I've ran a separate wire for the boom or for the tail wheel and it's latched and set with a set screw with another collet. So if I need to adjust just the tail wheel, I loosen this, move it, 
tighten it back down and you can tighten and adjust the rudder separately as well. That, that way they both come off the same control, however you can adjust one or the other. There is um, a hole on either side of these wing joiners that allows for about a 1 8 inch or a 3 millimeter carbon fiber tube or rod and you'll just want to run it all the way into near the center of this piece, there's a hole for it, and then run it along the leading edge all the way out to here. That just gives you a blunt edge if you hit anything or if it dings on anything. Also, in flight, it gives it the leading edge a real crisp cut into the air. I've seen people that forget to put that on and the wing, the leading edge of the wing just folds under and it's tucking or it just, they can't control it. I do the same for the trailing edge, except I, I go about out to here. You don't have to go the whole length if, if you don't want to, but you can. A little bit more about the bolt on parts for the main wing. These are standard quarter by 20 inch US threading. Um, you can get them at most hardware stores. I had a bag of these, so I designed these holes for the, the nuts that I had, and they just friction fit in there. They're held in completely. I, I'd have to like tuck them and, and push them to get them out. So I'm not sure if, if they're going to be different wherever you get them. They, the STL files can probably be adjusted if you need bigger or smaller. I hope that's not a problem for people. Other than that, if you have any questions, post them up. I'll try to answer them. We're going to get some flying in. Thanks for watching and, and I hope you enjoy the slow stick kit as much as I do and uh, a lot of the people we're flying with, it's, it's really cool to see it take off. Thanks for watching. Low flyby. See if we can get this camera. Nineteen percent. One hundred percent. Ninety percent. One hundred percent. It just feels so good and so stable. The air is really smooth today too. So the ground, looks like the ground speed right here is about 12 miles an hour. or at about altitude of 150 feet. Off in the distance there you can see the Superstition Mountains. And out that way is Usury Pass. Got some videos flying out there, usually pass area. And uh, over there are the basins that we fly during the week. It's really nice to be able to look into the turn when you're making a turn. It just feels so natural. And, um, so if I give hands off, that's hands off. It just settles right in with that dihedral really happy with this plane. It feels really smooth. These wheels have been great. They're, they're pretty light. Um, I've, they're pretty strong too, considering their spokes. Okay, I'm right behind you. Wow, cool. Looking with the uh, silhouette of the sun. It's beautiful. Okay, I'm off your left wing. So this slow stick here, he's had it for a little while. It's made out of the white ready board uh, foam board. And uh, he's covered most of it with the colored tape, packing tape. Crossing over. What is it? The road? Okay, well, I'm going to come back and land. Vince. 
right, here we go. There we go. 30 seconds. Rattle the same. 